Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 How you doing? So my son sends me a text this morning. Hey Pops, take a look at Bitcoin. And I looked, I'm like, whoa. That's what I like. Um, but again, I know I'm in this for the long haul. Delayed gratification. The next 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Um, hey, this article is on Cointelegraph. Four signs the cryptocurrency altcoin market may have finally bottomed. I'm going to put it in the link below, the description box below. Um, but I want to talk about altcoins for a little bit. When I first got involved in the cryptocurrency space, I guess early 2017, I guess. Again, there's only so much time in the day, right? So I just focused on like the top 10 and I was learning about them and learning about the exchanges and what wallets are good, what wallets aren't good, and, you know, YouTube, and anyhow. And frankly, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to projects that were out of the top 10 on CoinMarketCap. And then there was the run-up, and then we're back, you know, kind of back down again. As you know, I, I guess I don't need to remind you where we're at, right? Um, but the last, I don't know, like six to eight months, I'm really, or not that I'm going to start to do it, I've really been investigating a lot of altcoins. I've had time to, okay, I know about, you know, at least the top five and the top ten, but let's kind of move down the list. And um, I don't know if I've told this story before. But I'm active in the Zinfin, X-I-N, F-I-N, the Zinfin community. And there was a guy that reached out to me that I normally talk to on Telegram. And again, this was when no one knew what, you know, what they were doing three, four, five years ago. Well, he bought a couple thousand dollars worth of Verge and went on vacation, the thing totally spiked. He forgot all about it, and like six months later, you know, because he forgot that he had bought it, and then finally either went in his wallet or went back on the exchange, and he said he was, he didn't even want to tell me what his portfolio had grown to. I think it was Verge. Um, but he said, I'm never going to let that happen again. So my little advice to everybody out there, if you've got a lot of tokens and a lot of coins spread out, make sure that you monitor them, I don't know, every couple weeks or so in case something really takes off, depending on how much money you have invested, you're not going to lose out because this guy was sick. He was absolutely sick. And again, I don't know exactly how much he had invested in Verge. I said a couple thousand dollars. I just I was just kind of guessing based on what he said. But I think he had over, when it hit, hit the top, over maybe a quarter million dollars that he had lost out on because it went, and again, he totally... So don't forget, if you've invested in an altcoin that you think might not be able to do anything, because it may take off while you're on vacation, and then you come home and forget about it, and you're going to be emailing me going, no. So again, go over your portfolios, know what you have, know where you have them, know where your private keys are at, and uh, yeah, in the... Uh, um, this link will be in the description box below, but take a look at it. But it looks like from this article on Cointelegraph that the altcoin market has finally bottomed.
Thank goodness for that. Love y'all. Bye-bye.